So this is Mama Sassy Cat. Since she had her babies last night, I have not heard her stop purring. She had them down. <laughs> I'm up on the top bunk right now and I climbed up here with no ladder and my dress shoes. I just had to climb back down to get my phone. <laughs> she had them down underneath the steering wheel over there last night. And I knew they were there because they were going And I was like, oh, Sassy had her kitties, didn't she? I didn't even know she was in here right now. She went in there, underneath the seat over there, had her babies, didn't tell nobody. And then she was laying there doing this thing with her babies, purring and rolling over on her back and cuddling them. She is such a good mama. She took her babies while we were gone today. Shh. She took her babies from down there and brought all of them up here. All by herself. She is such a big girl. Yes, you are. That's my baby, but boy, she is a big girl. Yes, look at that big girl mama. Oh, yeah, you are such a good mama. You guys, calm down. I know you want to see the babies. What did I say? What did I say? I said I would ask her if you could see the babies. You may not be able to see them tonight. It's up to her. I know you guys are good mamas. I know you are. You're both good mamas. And I know, princess, you're almost like the grandmama of these babies, even though you're smaller than Sassy. Because when Sassy got here, Princess was a good mama to Sassy. That's where she learned how to be this good mama. Look at this good mama. She learned how to do that from her mom before she came to me. But she was only about four or five weeks old when she came to me. They found her in the backyard. It was a stray cat that had given birth to like five kittens. And so they had to get rid of them all pretty quickly. Oh, such a pretty girl. <laughs> Look at her. She's just like, oh, these are my babies. These are my babies. And Princess hasn't had any babies yet. She is almost four years old, and she hasn't had any yet. She did have a boy that came and did something with her a few weeks ago when she was in heat. Kind of hoping she has some babies because it would be so nice if, if that beautiful little mama down there could have some babies of her own. Because she has fostered so many babies. She deserves to have a baby if anybody does. She's fostered all these babies that came into our house. Even Angel. That big old monster headed pit bull down there. At first when she got here she's like, Mom, what the hell is that? You brought a monster home. That's not a baby. That's not a baby. That is a giant. What is wrong with you, Mom? And then she was like, Oh... I love this giant and I'm going to I'm going to clean her head for her and I'm going to love all over her like she's my baby too. She is such a good mama princess and such a good mama Sadie too. I know. Tell her say we need to see the babies. We need to see the babies they say. Are they allowed to see your babies? Are they allowed to see your babies? I don't think so because she got really stressed out when she thought you guys were coming up here a minute ago. She doesn't realize completely that you guys can't get up here yet. <laughs> Only her and Tigger can. Oh, you such a good mama. You are such a good mama. Oh, are you stretching your legs? Yeah. It's like she's clawing. Like she's just so content and peaceful. Oh, she's clawing the air. She doesn't even need a blanket to claw because she's just so peaceful. Oh, yeah, it's your babies, huh? Yeah, are those yours? Are those yours? Yes, they are. But, but, you are going to have to let those guys see them at some point, okay? You know how good of a mama Sadie is. She took care of you. She loved you and she cleaned you. She took care of your eyeballs because your eyeballs were sick. You remember that? She took care of your eyeballs because your eyeballs were sick. Me and her did a really good job of taking turns. And then that Mama Sadie. That Mama Sadie. It's been a long time since she's got to be around baby babies. 
She loves the babies too. That's where Princess learned everything she learned. Was from her mama Sadie. Yeah. Oh, little babies. Oh, they're so cute. Such precious little babies. Oh, such precious little babies. Oh. She trusts me so much. A few minutes ago, she was actually acting like she was going to get down and leave me here with them for a minute. She probably hasn't left them all day. Probably not, but that's okay because she had food down there when she was down there with them and water. And here in a minute, I'm going to go grab that food and water and bring it up here to her so she doesn't have to worry about not having it. There we go. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, they're so adorable. Oh, they're so adorable. And I'm pretty sure that our male, Tigger, he did not do this. <laughs> they do not do that with each other at all. At all. I'm pretty sure it was when she disappeared before we moved. Not last time we moved. Not the time before we moved, but the time before that. That she got pregnant. Because she disappeared and went back to the house we were staying at before. And there was a male cat over there that looks pretty much like this little one here. It looks pretty much like this, but it doesn't have no black on it. It's just orange and white. So it got a little bit of sassy black, too. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I stole you from your nipple. I'm so sorry. You'll find it again. Okay. Okay, we're going to let you guys have your privacy, even though you're really enjoying this. I know you are. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I wonder if that feels just as good on you as it does on a human. Where you push on that and you contract it and stuff and it goes back into place better and quicker than it does without doing it. I wonder. We're going to mm, feel this. Yeah. Take some time to focus on your tummy a little bit. Yeah. Is that feeling good? Oh, that feels so nice, doesn't it? Put some healing energy inside that tummy there. Oh. Mm. Heal that little baby mama. Okay, we're going. Bye-bye, mamas.